is up dudes welcome back to another exciting episode of fishing more outdoors as you guys can see i am not on the water today in fact i am in my yard i'm in my backyard right now and uh as you guys can see from the title i'm gonna be uh i'm gonna be doing a little walkthrough of my boat and showing you guys all the stuff that's in my boat right now and uh i'm not gonna lie my boat's probably a little bit of a little bit of a mess it may not seem like it right now but inside these compartments it's it's pretty messy but uh yeah the reason i kind of am making this video today Today. As many of you guys may know, I've been trying to post every single day in a row now for 22 days. I think this will be my 23rd video, which is freaking insane to me. I can't believe I've made it this far, and I'm going to try my absolute best to just keep on going, keep posting every single day. And uh, another reason why I'm making this video is because if you guys can maybe see behind me, it doesn't really look bad, but it's, it's a crappy day. It's been off and on raining all day today. It's actually kind of sprinkling right now, and if it keeps raining any harder than it is, right now I will be backing this thing up into my pole barn and I will be uh, continuing this video in my pole barn to be honest I've actually done this exact video before but this was last year and I believe at the time I only had like 2,000 subscribers so I'm sure all of you guys have not seen it only the true 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 OG fans have seen it but even if I did already do it like so much has changed there's all new different baits in here just a bunch of random stuff so yeah let's uh just get into it i guess i'm gonna start with the front okay dudes i'm gonna be using my little joby mount here because as you can see my tripod is kind of kind of busy right now that thing's been stuck there for like a month now okay hopefully you guys can see me there oh my god i'm gonna get all wet my i ain't gonna lie i left this thing out in the rain yesterday so it's still pretty damp okay this is my driver's side big storage space this is where usually where i keep like my panfish rods which isn't a lot in here right now i think there's only like two rods and then I also, can you guys see this? Okay, I'm just gonna have to grab it here. I'm not gonna go too far into this, into this storage compartment just because there's like two crappie rods in there. Uh, here's some line. Here's some more line. Some more line. This is just literally a bunch of crankbait treble hooks in case I need the replacement. This is a spinnerbait box, which I never even use spinnerbaits anymore see what's in here okay this is a life straw life straw water bottle in case i ever get stranded on the lake or river or something i don't know pretty this is just a bunch of random stuff honestly just first aid stuff bug spray some extra coal stuff for tournament fishing here's a coal uh coal balance beam deal sunscreen bug spray band-aids uh yeah duct tape. Just, this is honestly just a bunch of random stuff that might come in handy one day. And that just sits right there. Right, uh, just right in front of everything. This is literally just a bunch of jigs. Just like this. This is a swim jig. These are all hybrid jigs and swim jigs. Uh, they're pretty much just all yeah, these are just all swim jigs. Swim jigs and hybrid jigs. And yeah, this tackle box right here is, uh, this is just a miscellaneous. Whenever I take something out of the pack here and I'm done using it, I just put it back into this tackle box and then once it kinda, I don't take everything out of the box right away. I will, uh, you know what, I'm gonna get more into this once I get to the back container because that'll, that'll make a little bit more sense about this box. So yeah, that's pretty much all that is hiding in that compartment. Let's uh, let's move on over to here. You know what, dudes? It's raining pretty good right now. I'm gonna put my boat in the I'm gonna put my boat in the pole barn real quick. All right, dudes. Next we have the the rod compartment. As you can see, this is kind of a mess right now. Usually I have a bungee holding this up. There we go. Here we got all of my rain gear. It's so I guess it's not only a rod compartment. This is all my insurance and paperwork stuff. This is all rain gear. This is my super dope Josh Pig Patrol rain gear. And uh, here's just some miscellaneous reels. I'm gonna be using this reel. I'm going sturgeon fishing really soon here. So I'm gonna be using that for sturgeon fishing. Stay tuned for that. And yeah, a couple more just random reels down there. And then here we got just a big old pile of favorite rods. Got some six sticks, some big sexies, some white birds, some some summits. Just yeah, just a bunch of favorite rods. And uh, that should pretty much do it for this side. And moving on to the middle, this is where it kind of gets a little hairy. This is probably gonna be a little messy. I'm not gonna lie. 
right off the bat, this is my my big my big sitting mat. This is my throwable life jacket deal that I sit on because I can't uh, well I can't see over the steering wheel. And here come the short jokes. Okay, moving on. Here is just a soaking wet. That's not good. It's just a soaking wet bag of craws. This I honestly I'm I don't know why that's in here. That thing has just been floating around here empty for freaking weeks now. All my stuff is soaked. This ain't good. Here we got just a disgusting... Oh, this is fire, actually. This is a disgusting fire big and fishing more hoodie. If you guys want to cop one of these, go to teespring.com slash fishing more. And yeah, you guys can you guys can get your big and hoodie. Ah, uh, I don't know how hard I want to go into this. I'm just going to start throwing stuff. Here's another baggie just full of drop shot baits. That's the lid to this. This is a, this is seriously just, this is a bunch of craws, but like weird, not like traditional craws. These are like craws for like jig heads, not like flipping jigs, just regular jig heads. Okay, all craws. These are all Senkos and just random Senkos. Uh, here's a, my scale. This is my, uh, my, this is my uh, power plant box, just a bunch of random stuff, jig heads, big weights, uh, yeah, just power plant, carp fishing and bobber fishing stuff. Uh, there's a bunch of life jackets in there. There's a couple more up there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. All right, next. Oh, it might be a little dark. That's pretty much, it. that's technically my cooler, but it's literally just full of empty six cents pouches and that's my rope for when I'm by myself. Looks a little dark. Eh, doesn't really matter. Fire extinguisher, pliers, pliers and scissors holders, my rod buckle that I broke. And uh, we can move to the council, I guess. We don't even need to. That's an old school 899. That's a Hummingbird Helix 5. That's a 899, uh, their side imaging and yeah, nothing too special at all. I would really like to upgrade those. Look at that. Looks like my glasses are broke. That's sick. Okay, dudes, going on the left, the left passenger side, we got another big tackle storage. Let me move my tripod here. Okay, back to this compartment. So this thing is full of tackle, but I, I don't, I haven't used it in forever. Before you ask, everybody keeps asking me. The answer is no, I'm not selling any of this because my... I spent a lot of money on this stuff. Shebang, all of these are just full, full of, of baits. That's all swim baits. Bunch of swim baits, what's in here? Just a bunch of lip lifts, square bales. Yeah, the list goes on, top waters. Like, these are all just full and I don't use them. And I'll tell you why I don't use them in just a second here. Okay, so the reason I don't use that anymore is because, well, yeah. Why use that when I can use all of this? I feel like right now is the perfect time to mention to you guys that uh, I have decided to partner with Six Sense Fishing for the 2019 season. And that is the reason why I have all, all these freaking baits right now. I have so many baits right now. So in case you guys were curious, yes, I am uh, currently sponsored by Six Sense Fishing for the 2019 season and I'm super pumped and uh, just super fortunate. Okay, let's get back into the compartment. Okay, dude, so as you can see, this whole compartment Apartment is just filled with a, just a bunch of random stuff. Jerk baits, big old top water baits, square bills, crank baits, deep diving crank baits, shaky heads. There's just, there's just literally like, there's even jigs in here too. I have jigs everywhere. These are super sexy. The crush flats. Ho 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 ho. But yeah, there's literally just, there's, there's just everything in here. And yeah, I guess that kind of, oh, well, here's a compartment. This is my, my, I don't know, battery and gas tank, not gas tank, oil tank and just batteries and stuff. For those of you that have been following me for a while, you guys know I just had to put all new batteries in here from when uh, me and Sobe went on that big old five state tour, no clue tour thing. And if you guys haven't seen that, definitely go check that out because that was that was a fun tour. Okay, back here, we got the 150 Merc. Nothing too crazy, but it actually, it pushes me in this boat pretty freaking good. If I have a quarter tank and just me in the boat and no water in my live wells, I'm going 60, 62. 
so yeah, I guess I'm gonna wrap up this boat tour. Oh, you guys can't see me. But this video's not done yet. I had a really good idea. If any of you guys, uh, if any of you follow me on Instagram, you know that there's a, on the story thing on Instagram, you know there's a thing that says, uh, ask me a question. So I actually, just a minute ago, I put on Instagram, ask me a question for a vlog. So I'm gonna pick out a few of you guys' Instagram questions and uh, I'm gonna answer them for you guys. Let's uh, go to my office. I had to uh, I had to take off the old pajama pants because I got soaked outside sitting on my boat. But uh, yeah, once again, welcome to the office. Let's uh, let's read some comments. But before I read comments, dudes, two days ago we hit 29,000 subscribers. 29,000 subscribers. It, it was actually not two days ago. It was not last night. The the night before, late late at night, I hit 29,000. And I'm already at 29,111, so that's dope. If you guys haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please, 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 what are you doing? Go down here and smash that thing for me. Like I said before, I'm in here to uh, read some Instagram comments for you guys, and uh, if this goes good, I'd definitely like to do this a lot more. And uh, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram yet, what the heck are you doing? Oh yeah, we got a lot of, a lot of questions. Okay, let's, uh, let's look, let's not just answer all the questions. Let's, I'm only gonna answer a couple for you guys. There's already hundreds. Let's, uh, just answer, let's answer some good. Here's a, here's a decent one. There's so many comments, dude, and most of them are just asking how old I am. Uh, this one is from Jack underscore Nicholas 11. Jack Nicholas 11. Okay, this says, what is your to-go-to -to bait on a tough day? 100% a jig. Just a, just a regular jig. If I had to recommend one, I would go with the hybrid jig from Six Sense. They are juicy and you can just, you can, you can cast a jig anywhere. Deep, shallow, flip docks, flip brushes, just pencil re, like it's endless. You can, you can use it, you can literally use a jig anywhere. Okay, question number one. It's a pretty good question. Let's uh, keep scrolling. Here's a pretty good one. This one is from Cole underscore Anderson. And he says, why don't you throw more big swim baits? Uh, I love throwing big swim baits, but the reason you guys don't really see me doing it a lot on camera is because, like, how many fish do you actually catch on big swim baits? Yeah, you do catch giant fish, and you do catch fish on swim baits, but for me, being a YouTuber, I go fishing every day, and I guess I'm just throwing baits that, you know, catch more more quantity over quality i guess so that's pretty much why but i've been throwing that glide bait lately and that thing's got me juiced up so you'll probably see me throwing more swim baits and glide baits next question that was a good question owen dot has three have you ever fished the pool four of the mississippi river yes actually i have a lot but i haven't been in the past couple of years but like a couple of years ago i'd go up there 10 times a year like seriously yeah i love pool four i used to cream the walleyes up there. I've caught a big old paddlefish there. That was pretty cool. And yeah, white bass. Yeah, yes. The answer is yes. I have fished it and I do love it. Next question. This one is from Wyatt underscore hoist. Are you and AP Bassin still friends? I like to think so. I'm friends with everybody. Well, dudes, I definitely think that is going to do it for today's episode. I'm sorry if you guys really didn't enjoy today's episode. I honestly, I do not like making sit down, you know. I don't like making videos unless I'm like doing something fun like camping or fishing or, you know what I mean, just kind of goofing off. But yeah, I know sometimes I have to do videos like this, especially if I'm vlogging every day like I have been the past 20, 23 days. This will be day 23. That's insane, dudes. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. We're doing this every day. It's uh, it's it's actually pretty tough, I'm not gonna lie. I've been struggling a little bit past couple nights, but I'm just gonna keep grinding through and uh, hopefully we can keep making videos for you guys. So yeah, if you guys could, share this video. Go smash that subscribe button. Go, go like this video. 100% hit that bell next to that subscribe button. That notifies you whenever I post a video. Uh, even if you're subscribed, that doesn't mean that you're gonna get a notification when I post my... You only get notified literally like every four videos I post. What's going on here? I guess all that's left to say, dudes, is you gotta start fishing more. We'll see you tomorrow, hopefully.